In this video, I'm going to explain the color coding of the breakpoints in Adobe Captivate. Some of you may have noticed this before. Some of you may have just noticed it very recently. Uh, but I assure you it's something that's been there uh, for a while. And quite you know, honestly, I have to admit that I didn't notice it immediately upon the release of Adobe Captivate uh, 9, and I certainly didn't notice it during Captivate 8. But it is something that's there, of course. As you know, the breakpoints on your stage are color-coded. The desktop is purple. The custom tablet breakpoint is this sort of bluish light blue. Tablet portrait is green, and Custom mobile is sort of this amber color, and uh, pink is mobile portrait. And they do actually have a purpose, not just to differentiate and, and look nice and pretty and all that, but they actually serve a purpose. And let me demonstrate that purpose for you right now. So let's start off by creating a smart shape. And I'm just going to grab a rectangle, one of my frequently used items here. And I'm going to place that on my stage. And it's, uh, you know, roughly centered there. I'm not going to worry too much about its positioning. But let's take a look at the position panel. Some interesting uh, things that you might notice here, or maybe you've already noticed them and are wondering why this is. You'll notice that purple, which is the color for desktop, is the stroke color around the fields for all of your position properties. And this will continue to be true even if you switch to custom tablet or tablet portrait or custom mobile, whatever. Let's go back to desktop for a moment. So if I make a change here, what's happening, as you all know, that change will carry itself down from desktop to tablet, portrait, and so on. So if I set the distance from the top to be 29% uh, from the top, on desktop, it's going to carry that down all the way to mobile portrait. You'll see it remains 29%. Now, if I make a change, let's say a custom tablet, and decide that I would prefer that to be at 25%, I can make that change. Something you may notice, if you look closely, the other position fields are still desktop purple, while the top and of course the grayed out bottom are now matched to the color of custom tablet and of course that's going to carry down to other breakpoints as well and so if i was to make a change let's say to the height of this object on tablet portrait uh, it's going to take on that characteristic uh, from tablet portrait and all the way down to mobile so let's just change that to percentage so now if i go to desktop mode everything is purple uh, custom tablet i've got blue for the top position because i changed that and if i go to tablet portrait i've made a change to the height and these are just visual cues to let you know at what break point there has been a break in the object position, whether it's the position from the top, the position from the right or left, or the actual object size. And that's useful for you to know if this object has been modified at a different breakpoint, um, whether you need to fix that because maybe it was not your intention to make that change. And the easiest way to do that is to go back up to your desktop, make the settings that you want to keep, and right click on that object and apply position properties to all views and this will reset any position properties to be in alignment with whatever breakpoint you're on right now so for example if I was to change it here on the mobile portrait and instead of it being tied to the top and the left I want it to be tied to the bottom and the right this is a change that you could make and now, of course, you're seeing some changes here. If I right-click on this object and apply position properties to all views, now that becomes the new desktop view and all the other views for all the other breakpoints as well. So 
a good little tip there to uh, to be able to keep track of changes that you're making at different uh, breakpoints. Uh, some people think that this is broken. It's not the case. This is actually a feature of Adobe Captivate, the ability to have uh, different uh, settings at different breakpoints depending on what your needs are. Here's an example I thought of that relates not just to positions, but to text properties. So I'm going to enter in uh, some text on this uh, rectangle here. Now I can't really think of a reason why you would do this in um, an e-learning course, but if you wanted to make reference to the fact that uh, you were in fact on the desktop view, but you wanted that text to change, at the different breakpoints because obviously here you can say you know you could it could be instructions to your user it could be referencing that make sure you press this button on your pc or your mac or your desktop computer whatever it might be well you don't want a reference to desktop computer on custom tablet for example so here you could change that to be tablet So here you can see clearly I've broken the relationship between desktop and tablet. On desktop it says desktop view and on custom tablet it says tablet view and there's a visual cue for that as well. You'll notice that the under the properties panel the slide label is uh, updated to reflect that there's different views depending on which breakpoint you're looking at. So it's telling me here that there is a unique breakpoint for the text on the properties for this page and something different here for custom tablet. And of course you could make changes for all of these different breakpoints. Uh, and again, if you wanted to change that back or reset it back to just the desktop view or just one of the other breakpoints, in fact, you could choose this breakpoint here and uh, right click and in this case, apply text to all views. And this will ensure that the text that's written on your screen right now will be the text on all the other breakpoints. Now you can also take it a step further and apply text and all the text properties to all views as well. And this is useful if you want to make sure that the font is the same, that any kind of uh, text formatting is carried over to all the other breakpoints as well. Guys, if you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.